Kevin from Epic Gardening here. As you can see, the tower gardens are naked once again, ready for a new planting. And last Grow Journal playlist that I put together was more a review of the tower garden itself. And if you want a little bit of that information, just look at those videos because that talks about the tower garden, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, etc. This is going to be going into what I'm thinking of on a hydroponic level when I'm trying to get good yields out of the tower. <clears throat> and what I'm growing in here, I've got seeds started for chard, lettuce, a couple varieties of lettuce, basil, spinach, kale, and cilantro. So it's all greens, nothing that flowers. As you can see, I've already filled up the reservoir almost to the top. It's about 20 gallons or so. And I do use tap water instead of reverse osmosis just because I haven't found there to be too big of an issue, especially if you're just growing greens, to, to use the tap water. Um, this, it's actually hose water in, here in San Diego. The PPM's somewhere around 350, which is a little bit high. We do have some hard water here. But again, I really haven't found that to be an issue. The one thing I do is I let the water sit uncovered for about 24 hours, probably a little bit more, just to let that chlorine dissipate, anything else that might be in there, like water treatments to dissipate. Other than that, it's pretty simple. And then what I'm going to be doing is putting a very, very light nutrient solution in before I toss the seedlings in to kind of let them suck up a little bit of nutrition because they're, um, they're not going to be drawing too much nutrition from those cotyledons or those seed leaves anymore once once I put them out here in the towers. So that's pretty. That's that's it for the introductory video. It's going to be a cool little journal because I'm going to talk about you know my feeding schedule for these types of plants and maybe even a little bit about the pruning because basil you do have to prune it to make sure that it it stays uh, in vegetative state. And then dealing with cilantro, I've had some problems dealing with cilantro as well. And then just some general thoughts on hydroponics as well. So if you're if you're excited about this, go ahead and subscribe, hit like. And let me know what you'd like to see me talk about when I grow these, these greens. And I'll see if I can put that in there for you guys. All right. Thank you. This is Kevin from Epic Gardening. Keep gardening, guys. I'm out.